anything, you're going to go find an orange hat. Another. <laughs> mm. and, and a scarf <laughs> yep. and yeah. a cardigan yeah. and some socks. <laughs> and you're just going to be like, ta-da! Right, <laughs> right. Hello, everyone. I am joined by Gay Glassby, better known as Gigi Made It, or, you know what? The Yarn Ho. That. Seriously, <laughs> there's no offense there. That no. is, that's like a real thing. Facts. Facts. <laughs> We're talking facts today <laughs> during this Tea with Shira. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for having this me. This has been like a long time coming. I'm going to start with your Instagram because a lot of people know you from Instagram mm -hmm. and um, specifically know you for your color that is orange. A little bit. Let's, <laughs> let's unpack that for everyone. You know, because that's really become like your identity a little bit. It has, it has. My birthday was last week and I'm 53 years old, meaning I grew up in the early 70s is when I was a little girl. And in my community, being dark skinned was frowned upon. So me liking bright colors was frowned upon. So I hid the fact that I loved orange practically all of my life. So when I decided that, you know what, there's nothing wrong with my complexion, and I'm gonna tell the world that I like orange. You probably can see me from the moon because of that now, but that's really the basis behind it. I still get elders in my community that will say, oh baby, you're so pretty, but you know you shouldn't wear that bright color. And I'm like, let me go find something else orange to put on because you people are gonna stop this. Um, so that's really the origin of the orange. It's a little, it's a good bad news story because mm -hmm. I came into my own and I realized that there was nothing wrong with my skin tone and nothing wrong with me loving orange, so I just went for it. And everybody kind of followed suit. I think that's awesome, and I think that that's what makes you stand out in the community that we're a part of, is that I think that everybody has their own message and mm -hmm. that, they, that that's their path, and I think that knowing that about you and who, you know, just being so sure in who you are and making sure that other people know it and you're not gonna change it. I think that's awesome. Yeah. And um, so I love that. So if you go to Gigi's Instagram, it's just a flood, a flood of orange. So then you also have a whole presence on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Tell me about your YouTube life. YouTube started out as a dare, again. A dare? Yeah, it was a challenge, actually. When I decided that I was going to be consistent, I was gonna upload once a week on Sundays, and I started doing that within like a couple of weeks, my following went from 2,000 to 5,000, like bam. But I really found like my growth on YouTube as of late has simply because I've shown up. I think that's such a wonderful, I did not expect that type of answer to come out. And I think that for people out there that are watching Tea with Shira, I think that that's something that Tea with Shira has learned where we try and be as consistent mm -hmm. because I think that when we create this community, they're wanting more. They, they want do. you, they want you to they, show up. They want right? you. They're like, where are you? A <laughs> you know? Exactly. What I love is when I can ask a question that will bring everybody to the table. And now they're not even paying me any attention. But they're talking to each together. other because, oh, I grew up in that town. Or that's where my husband is from. Oh my God, I went to that school. Wait a minute, what's your maiden name? You know, and I, I'm like, I call it magic because then I just walk away. Like, I don't even have to respond because they're, they're talking to each other, you know? And I think that's what I love about this knitting community. I always tell people when they ask me, you know, what started me knitting? I'm self-taught, by the way. I graduated from YouTube University. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. With honors, right? With honors. So I always say I started knitting at a very trying time in my life. Um, and I always say the yarn, I wrapped my heart in yarn and I kept going, right? And I feel like that string, even with all of the unrest in the community right now, that string is what's keeping us together. Because at the end of the day, we go back to the knitting, the crocheting, the weaving, the, the whatever. And that's what we have in common. So that's what I find. They're looking, they're hungry for it. Like they come back. Like if I do a post, I do it on purpose. I'll just post a picture of knitting and I'll just say, this is my project. This is the pattern. This is the yarn. I don't get as many reactions. I don't get as many likes. But when I do what I call a Gigiism, right? Like today's Gigiism was confidence is a confidence killer. I always say, watch your mouth. How do you talk to yourself? right? Because I'm making socks right now. And I was proud of my little sock. I turned my heel last night. I was all excited. And then I saw someone that was making the same exact sock. And instantly, I started beating myself Second up, guessing. right? Like, okay, so maybe what, what is, why is her ribbing look a little tighter than mine? Did, am, I, am I using the right needle size? I immediately started attacking me 
And I'm like, don't do that because there's nothing wrong with my sock. My mm -hmm. sock is good. I'm proud of my sock. Oftentimes with my GGisms, I'm talking to me. You know how they say on the internet now, I don't know who needs to hear this, but I get a whole bunch of Gigi, I needed that today. Our common denominator is the yarn, but you know, we all experience there's, the same thing. There's things. so much more to it. It so is. There's so much more. I, I I'm gonna I'm gonna pivot. Okay. I'm gonna do a little pivot. Okay. And I wanna talk about the stuff that's on the couch right there. Okay. So this kind of you, you're really not pivoting far no, because that's good. this speaks to again a, one of my Gigiisms and I one of my favorite ones is watch your mouth, right? Okay. Because self talk. Okay. What you tell yourself is what you believe. For me, my watch my mouth was sweaters because I always convinced myself that I couldn't knit sweaters. Sweaters were what other knitters did. Last year was the year of the sweater for me. And, I love this. Right, thank you. This is Coco Knits. Okay. She's one of my favorites because all of hers is top down and she focuses on the shoulders. Mm -hmm. So I always feel so accomplished because the shoulders are so tailored. I went back on my Ravelry and I made my first sweater in 2014. Okay. So I've been telling myself for five years that I can't make a sweater. Okay, so even that's though you already made one. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Right, okay. so when I did a little collage and I'm like, guys, I made my first sweater in 2014. Read that again, 2014, look, and I did all these. We can be our own worst enemies. You know, I struggled with hats, believe it or not, and I have something for you, we'll talk about that. I struggled with hats. So I was the cow and the sweater queen. Sure you know, wraps. Sure. You know, I finally started doing shawls. Sure. Um, my very first shawl that I made ever was when my dad passed away. I was actually working on it when he got sick, so I always, and that's, I say, you build community, right? If I put that shawl on, people that have followed me for a while, they will be like, that's your daddy's shawl. You think about your daddy today. And I was like, wow. You know, you don't realize people pay attention that much. I, I think it's so awesome. I think everything that, um, you know, how you've grown your community and you have let them come together even without you being there yeah. is this kind of like conduit for everyone mm -hmm. to meet and kind of come together. And I think that we just need more and more of that. We do. It's, and I always stumble across stuff that explodes. It's never planned. Um, maybe a week or so ago, I got this burst of followers all of a sudden, just like pow. So I'm like, what are they reacting to? But it was so many that I felt the need to introduce myself mm -hmm. to those that were new. And I invited my followers to introduce themselves to me. Explosion. I love that. I still have not read all those comments. Explosion. Then it just, everybody started following suit. They started finding commonalities. I, that's where I grew up. My mom was born there. You know, I, you know, I just drove through there on vacation. You know, the magic I starts. I, I think that, you know, that is one of the things that I've noticed with Hat Not Hate when I do these Facebook Lives. And it's basically me just like 45 minutes of like crying. <laughs> like, but, you know, one of the facts about bullying is that everyone, has been affected by it in some which way or another. They all get it from so many different Somewhere. points of views. You do. And I kind of feel like I've done that for like people coming together during these Facebook Lives and right. they're like, we're crying with you, Shira. Right, and like, right. Nice hat, Karen. Right. And like all these, yeah. and I think that that's the most important thing. But speaking um, of, speaking of the hat not hate, I, it's not orange. It's not orange, guys. <laughs> so it was a challenge, a task. I had to search, no. But um, I made a hat because we think of bullying, we think of children, which is unfortunate. You know, it's, it's a sad thing. So if a simple hat can signify that we are allies and we will stop that bullying, then I want to drop my hat in the pool. I love it. <laughs> Don't cry. <laughs> Don't cry. Don't cry. <laughs> um, I love this. This means a lot. I think uh, the two of us, we can save the world. What do you think? Well, I think so. <laughs> I think we can. I think we can. I think that's awesome. Um, I think we can. I want to thank you so much. Thank you for having me. For thank you for here. having me. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. Remember, you can follow Gigi here all of her things you got a point down here though. that that you gotta help the, me out. Oh, yeah there, you gotta, right yep, there it's all, all of that stuff that's <laughs> all here follow the orange follow the orange <laughs> um remember to give this video a big thumbs up please and, do yes please do Gigi, you have a question to ask our viewers out there i do oh. so we are all know that i am the orange lady oh i've had some titles gay the goddess is was and the empress of orange oh those are names that i've been referred as so my question is do you have 
a favorite color? And if so, are you as obsessed with your favorite color as I am? I will be looking for the answers in the comments. I will be responding. Thank you. Oh, she will. She'll be on it. Yep, I'm coming. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I want I want to toast. Okay. I want to toast to Cheers. um to community. Yes, yes, that's what it's all about. I the love community. It. I love it. Yes. Bye everybody. Bye. Water, water, water. This has been such like a positive, like you can do it. You can. Uh, you can you do can. it. You can be a yarn hoe. Yep. <laughs> you can. <laughs> I mean, you sure. sure. <laughs> My dad's going to watch this and be like, what's a yarn right, hoe? Right, what is that? <laughs>